Practical Predestination by Octavius Winslow There are no guesses, conjectures, or contingencies with God as to the future. Not only does He know all, but He has fixed, appointed, and ordered all things after the counsel of His own will. It would seem impossible to form any correct idea of God disassociated from the idea of predestination. The sole basis of predestination is the practical belief that God is eternal and infinite in and over all. Predestination is God's predetermined appointment and forearrangement of all things beforehand according to His divine and supreme will. God prearranges, predetermines, and supremely rules in all the concerns of our world. He fixes a constellation in the heavens, guides the gyrations of a bird in the air, directs the falling of an autumn leaf in the pathless desert, and conveys the seed born upon the wind to the spot where it should fall. In predestination, we see the everlasting love of God to and His most free choice of His people to be His special and peculiar treasure. What doctrine is more emptying, humbling, and therefore sanctifying than predestination? It lays the axe at the root of all human boasting. In the light of this truth, the most holy believer sees that there is no difference between him and the vilest sinner who crawls the earth but what the sovereign grace of God has made. One blessing accruing from the doctrine of predestination is the sweet and holy submission into which it brings the mind under all afflictive dispensations. Each step of his pilgrimage and each incident of his history the believer sees appointed in the everlasting covenant of grace. He recognizes the discipline of the covenant to be as much a part of the original plan as any positive mercy that it contains. That all the hairs of his head are numbered, that affliction springs not out of the earth, and therefore is not the result of accident or chance, but is in harmony with God's purposes of love, and, thus ordained and permitted, must work together for his good. The radiance which predestination reflects upon the entire history of the child of God, and the calm repose which it diffuses over the mind in all the perplexing, painful, and mysterious events of that history, can only be understood by those whose hearts have fully received this doctrine. Whatever betides him, inexplicable in its character, Enshrouded in the deepest gloom, as may be the circumstance, the believer in this truth can stand still and, calmly surveying the scene, exclaim, This also comes forth from the Lord Almighty, who is wonderful in counsel and excellent in working. He who works all things after the counsel of his own will has done it, and I am satisfied that it is well done.